Hey family, and welcome to Recap Monday, brought to you by Jam, just African music. It's your girl, Gabby Mack, and I'm here to bring you the tea. So, according to Billboard, for six months, WizKids Essence has been on the number one chart. It has been number one for six weeks, and finally, his track has been kicked off by Kodak Black. So Billboard tweeted about this during the week and WizKid of course responded and said, wow, 27 weeks number one, you know, we're all really, really proud to see that our African brother is doing his thing here in the US. So Kodak responded and said, it's okay brother, we just gotta do a sum and go up there together. So now people are talking about rumors of them having a collab together. I wonder how that would actually go. I, that, I think that would be pretty interesting. But speaking of collabs, Madonna dropped visuals for her new single with Fireboy called Frozen. Now guys, I don't know how you guys personally feel, but for me, I mean, I like the fact that a lot of the African artists are collaborating with US artists and you know, from UK, all over the world. There's just some artists I just don't see the collaboration. I just don't see the whole hype of our African artists just wanting to constantly only do songs with you know big artists from here. I know it it brings recognition for them. You know it puts them on the map. I get that, but it's just some people I'm just like, nah. I don't think that's it for me. I mean that's me personally. Let me know what y'all you guys think in the comments. Do you think that you know our artists should be you know just collaborating with just anyone just because of the fact that they want to put their name out there? But yeah, that's um, that's that. And last but not least, Kwame Eugene um, was on the Westwood show um, this past week, and he did a freestyle. I came no longer, and a lot of people had a lot to say about it, including when Michelle did, when she was raining down on him and telling him that Kwame just simply needs to stick to singing and not rapping. For me, I mean, I didn't think he did that bad, but I kind of agree. I think he should just kind of stick to the music. I mean, you know, the singing. I think it's just better if you just stick to what you're good at. I mean, there's nothing wrong in venturing into, you know, other things and trying to spice up your music, but I didn't really think that the rapping thing was really for him. Don't get me wrong, he's he's done a couple of tracks where he rapped on it and it actually didn't sound that bad, but like a full-blown freestyle, yeah, not it for me. That was like when David O did that, you know, that freestyle, we were all like, mm, David O, stick to people writing songs for you. But it is what it is. I mean, no shade here to anybody. I mean, I love my African artists, but it's just, Sometimes we just gotta stick to what we good at, you know what I'm saying? So that was the tea for the week. Make sure you guys check out our Spotify playlist called Jam Radar. We put all the latest new music drops out every Friday. We put new music on our page and on our um, playlist. So make sure you check that out. And if you guys haven't checked out our um, recap video that we did, for the Ghana Independence Day. Make sure you go check that out. It's also gonna be on our YouTube. Make sure you also follow our YouTube as well. And you know, we're, we're working it up, guys. We're gonna keep giving you guys new things um, here and there. Summer's coming. We know a lot of festivals, shows, concerts, albums dropping and everything. And we're gonna try to be there and bring you guys all the latest tea and information. And hopefully we can get some real good exclusive interviews coming up. There's a lot of good shows coming up, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And I'll see you guys on the next Recap Monday. Hustle tire, streets on fire.